சிந்தனை அவன் கண் விட குட் மார்னிங் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஸ்பைரோ பிரைம் எஜுகேஷன் இன்ஸ்டிடியூட்ஸ் வெல்கம் யூ NTA Abhyas NEET Test 1 to 40 Chapter Wise Questions. Today's topic is Human Reproduction and Reproductive Health in Zoology. This is Dr. Ashok Babu signing in and let's get to the questions. The first question. During spermatogenesis, second meiotic division occurs during now in this question you have about uh, uh, four options you know we are going to choose the right option though it is marked here there should be a reason why it is like that a primary spermatocyte is transformed into two secondary spermatocytes during meiosis 1 these cells then in turn are converted into haploid spermatids during meiosis 2 so the second meiotic division is rapid so you can mark option d secondary spermatocyte to spermatid now the second question match the columns already we have discussed if you are thorough in one of the answers then you can easily manipulate other two if you do not know suppose you, you i mean you are supposed to know all this anyway for those students who find it bit difficult one or two is difficult but if you are very very sure you can easily place them very correctly because when you analyze the answer and then check this here it will consume lot of your time so never look at the answer look at the question first now on the left hand side is given column a p q and r here in column b you have given they have given 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so you have 3 you have 7 here that means one may have multiple choice so we have got to identify that now and you understand the question now male accessory duct external genitalia of female male accessory glands now you uh, browse this column b male accessory glands bulbo urethra glands prostate gland these two are male accessory glands so you will get some idea r should be 1 and 7 the external genitalia of female mons pubis 3 that is a fatty tissue uh, on which the pubic hair grow that's why it is called mons pubis pubis bone it is above it and then labia majora 3 and 4 anywhere else nothing then if you come to male accessory duct we talk about duct so reti testis vasa efferentia epididymis now let's see uh, the first option p is equal to 2 and 5 what is p male accessory duct reti testis epid vasa efferentia and 6 epididymis q 3 and 4 external genitalia of female mons pubis and labia majora obviously the r is 1 and 7 so this is a you need not even bother to see all this if you know the answer no like uh, very very beautiful you can do that is the advantage with uh, match the following you should all get four marks completely in that coming to question number 3 some of these infections like hepatitis b and hiv can also be transmitted by sharing injection needles surgical instruments etc there is a statement first statement look at the second statement the adolescence period is a period between 18 to 25 years of age and then the third statement early symptoms of most of the stds are minor and include itching fluid discharge slight pain swellings etc in the genital region okay now 
it is asking how many of the above statements are correct when you analyze adolescence is the period of transition between childhood and adulthood see the government of india however in the national youth policy defines youth as the 15 to 35 years of age group and the adolescence as 13 to 19 here it talks about 18 to 25 which is not true adolescence is recognized as a phase rather than a fixed time period in an individual's life it's only a phase or a nilai it's a stage now there are two out of three two are correct except the one which we discussed now the, the other is correct other two are correct now coming uh, here duration of lactational amenorrhea menorrhea means menstruation amenorrhea means no menstruation so when there is no menstruation even if you have sex or even you have uh, copulation there won't be any uh, fertilization so during duration of lactational amenorrhea may extend up to answer is 6 months it is there in the ncert book so it's a straight question you can answer that way coming to select the mismatch matched pair it talks about mismatched pair now uh, in such questions what you should do is uh, you got to definitely go through all the options because he is asking about mismatched pair now in women relaxin is secreted into the circulation by the corpus luteum in the ovary during pregnancy it is also released from the placenta the membranes which surround the fetus and the lining of the uterus if the woman does conceive relaxin levels continue to grow through first trimester so it is given so if you really see secretion of relaxin in the later phase of pregnancy is not correct it's mismatched it is happening but during the first trimester itself it happens later stage it will be there but not as it put over here only on later stage so that is a mismatched the rest of these things if you see fsh secretion stimulates fertility cells very true because fsh has got a, a, a very much important role in making the septal cells to function and then diaphragm cervical caps and walls they are all physical barriers of contraception uh, which is to be inserted into the vagina so that the sperm will not travel through the cervix human egg fertilization in fallopian tube that's what it happens only condition is if it does not move from the fallopian tube to the uterus then if you start growing there that is called the ectopic pregnancy ectopic pregnancy is a emergency situation where a woman uh, will be having a symptom of spraying of blood on her inner garments and severe pain if she goes to a doctor gynecologist then they will find out by doing uh, uh, certain tests and nowadays uh, you can easily find out and then the best way is to remove it so it is surgical opening only you have got to remove that uh, portion and the woman has to depend on only the one ovary there see that is why it, it's a problematic thing and uh, there are uh, various theories about ectopic pregnancy sometimes even std certain scds will uh, drive the woman towards that and uh, it's a very dangerous thing so let's take up the next one so i think we have seen five questions here now if you like the video kindly uh take up that spiro academy and then if you really wanted to download this you can get into the Uh, description column which is given below so you can subscribe spiro academy number 6 in which of the following placenta development 
cannot be seen. You see, so where does the placenta comes? Only in a human, horse, cattle, in mammals, right? Columba is not a mammal. Columba is a bird. It puts only eggs. So obviously, uh, you should know a Columba means pigeon. If you have that knowledge, that's enough. You must have studied, no? So it is not a very uh, difficult question here because it's an egg-laying bird. So typical pigeons, Columba. Seventh question. Read the following statements. A, B, and C. Given. Meiosis 1 is completed during the conversion of the secondary follicle into the tertiary follicle. Meiosis 1 in oogenesis or oogenesis is an unequal division. Ovulation results in the release of the secondary oocyte. How many of the given statements are incorrect? The answer is none. That means all are correct. So the moment you read the sentence, you have to recollect all those and all are correct. So you can opt for option A. We'll come to next question. How many of the given statements are incorrect? Again, something like this. See, such questions, uh, it is time consuming because definitely you should, uh, in that three hours, you are uh, writing your examination and uh, you, know, you are pressed for time. Take it from me. You know how to handle that. There are only 80 questions. You are not going to answer all 180. Very clearly have in your mind. If you answer, 150 questions right, you are going to get 600. Okay, second point. Now, if you are going to get that 600, you must have prepared so very well, it is very easy for you. Suppose you are very confident, even if you take about 120 right, somewhere close to 500, still you get your medicine seat. 120 to 130, above 500. You are sure to get into MBBS. So, what do you do? You don't get into pressure, right? So suppose you are planned for 130 questions. You require only 130 minutes, but they have given you 180 minutes. 50 minutes additional is there. In case you can answer more, you can do that. So never get no perturbed, never get that panicky situation. Just cool, be cool. You will beautifully answer. How many of the, uh, of the given statements are incorrect? Ovaries are located on each side of the lower abdomen. Okay. Mons pubis is a cushion of fatty tissue covered by skin and pubic hair. Okay. C. A primary spermatocyte completes the second meiotic division leading to the formation of two equal haploid cells called secondary spermatocytes which have only 23 chromosomes each. Okay. The secondary follicles get surrounded by more layers of granulosa cells and a new theca. They are called tertiary follicles. Now, from this answer itself, you will know. Now, let's analyze this. The, let's take the point D, last one. The secondary follicle develops into a graphene follicle. Right? Now, when you take a point C, the primary spermatocyte gives rise to two cells, the secondary spermatocytes, and these two by their subdivision produce four spermatozoa, which are haploid. Now these two are not correct, so only two are correct, so go and take two. Ninth question, again, you see this is slightly confusing. Uh, people know like what they do, they try to omit or they don't recollect or they don't uh, lodge it in their mind. Um, for your examination, if the question comes, you, know, you can't be uh, losing that four marks. So only a couple of things are there. So it's easy for you to recollect and then put it. Now, intrauterine devices are inserted by doctors or expert nurses in the uterus through vagina. Of course, um, you know, every time you need not uh, use uh, condoms, right? 
these iud's are presently available as the non medicated iud's example it is given one that is dash copper releasing iud's two dash and the hormone releasing iud's three dash so now you are uh, you have got to see uh, the options now the third one it says hormone releasing iud's hormone releasing iud's lng20 multi load 375 here now where is the hormone here lng20 is there but again multi load 375 so whereas proges tasert and lng20 both are hormone so this will three is the right answer over here and uh, look at the c and d option lng20 and then you have for this star set lng2 it is given so it should be 22 ng2 something wrong there so take up this the second one he talks about the first one is lipus loop you know the iud is presently available non medicated lipus loop so you have two here here with this with this so where there is they ask only one so the answer is going to be within these two then the second one is copper releasing iud's cu7 cut both are copper here along with that project search is given so you go for option even multi load 375 you have copper there so option b would be the right answer coming to the 10th question which of the following is not haploid see look at the answer not haploid who did is haploid no so because uh, primary spermatocyte and spermatogonia are diploid so answer is both a and b 11th question population of india has crossed 1 million in may 2000 is it 1 million 1 million is just 10 lakhs we are into 130 crore now so that means it is uh, 1 billion it should be okay so the first statement is uh, not correct second statement cervical caps and walls both are barrier methods of contraception is a right this one saheli is a once month pill it is actually once a week a pill and government of india has legalized mtp act in 1971 not 81 so the question here is select the correct statement so b is a correct statement now these things will come once you keep on reading the book you know you got to read re read revise re revise again read again revise every lesson if you have read line by line understand everything it is easy for you you can score uh, very easily 42 to 43 questions right in zoology out of 45 it is that much easy only through ncert book no need to read anything else and then why not sir fully there are two three questions that will also be based on ncert but very much twisted you get fooled or baffled by the question the way it is asked so that's why i give that uh, no allowance to you so at least 42 it will be easy for you 42 to 43 if you are lucky all 45 right yes wonderful so let's take up the 12th question vasa efferentia or the ductules leading from now there are four options testicular lobules to reti testis vas deferens to epididymis epididymis to urethra and reti testis to vas deferens now you have got to know a bit of anatomy here very well because vas deferens arises from caudal epididymis now the word caudal epididymis is not there in your standard i am just telling you for you to bet understand conduct sperms from epididymis to urethra whereas reti testis is connected to caput epididymis 
by around 12 to 20 fine tubules called as vasa efferentia or ductuli efferences. These collect sperms from inside the testis and transfer them to the epididymis. So option D is the right answer. Now another interesting question. Capacitation refers to changes in the four options. Sperm after fertilization. What is the need? No need. Sperm before fertilization. That is what is required. Ovum before fertilization. Ovum, see, capacitation occurs only in sperm, right? So ovum, ovum, you can remove. So you have only options, A or B. And capacitation occurs before fertilization. Now I have got to tell you a little more about capacitation because not very clearly given in the book. I can say capacitation is the penultimate step in the maturation of mammalian spermatozoa and is required to render them competent to fertilize an oocyte. This step is a biochemical event meaning biochemically even the sperm move normally and look mature prior to capacitation in vivo you know about vivo and vitro meaning vivo means inside vitro means outside so in vivo this step typically occurs after ejaculation in the female reproductive tract so for a sperm to go and fertilize the female reproductive tract also should help by increasing the capacitation of the sperm. The uterus aids in the steps of capacitation by secreting sterol binding albumin, lipoprotein, proteolytic and glycosidasic enzymes such as heparin. So that now the sperm goes and fertilizes. So, capacitation means sperm before fertilization. Coming to 14th question. Which of the hormone, follow, which of the following is a hormone releasing intrauterine device? Now, VALT is not there, cervical tap, no, multiload is not. Whereas LNG20, LNG20, yes. You know the expansion of LNG20, it is a long term contraception with. Levonogestrel, 20 microgram per day. That is why it is called 20. 20 means 20 microgram per day it will release. It's called long-term contraception with levonogestrel. Levonogestrel is a hormone. So LNG20, you can choose that. Coming to 15th question. Straight from the book, the same picture is available in your NCRT book. Now, uh, I mean, do you require to you know, like, literally see it by looking itself? You can say what each one is all about. The D, first to take the D, you know, it is ovary. Now, uh, this is the uterine uterus, now, somewhere fallopian tube. This is cervical region. Now, look at the options. A OV deck, definitely not. So D ovary. So A for one answer is okay. Now, if you really see uh, option D, A is cervix. A is cervix, correct. And then B is uterine cavity. Uterine cavity or uterus. And C is fallopian tube. No mistake about it. D is ovary. No mistake about it. So straight away you can go. With, you know, like you should feel very happy of getting such type of questions. You will definitely make it well. Coming to 16th question. Now, the 16th question, which of the following can be associated with the STI? If you ask me, it's a difficult question. Nowhere in your book is talked about all this. Now, how would you then especially this pelvic intrometry disease unless you know something about it i don't think so such questions will come for the neat examination but let us discuss so that if at all if it comes because all these things are related to what is given in your book you can answer very well 
uh, you know, nobody will think of, uh, they will go for abortions. It will be very easy for them to go for abortions. Uh, you know, there are many people, they experience this abortion. Not necessarily they should have STI. And uh, there are other infections of pelvic inflammatory disease. Not necessarily it is associated with STI. An ectopic pregnancy also, one of the theory says it is that. But sometimes normally also it can happen. Whereas the answer is given as all of this. Let us see why. Pelvic inflammatory disease is an infection of the organs of a woman's reproductive system. They include the uterus, ovaries, fallopian tubes and cervix. Any infection there. So it is usually caused by a STI like chlamydia or gonorrhea. First of all, what is STI? Sexually transmitted infection. Okay. You know, uh, many times people are getting confused between infection and disease. I tell you in a simple language. You are traveling in a bus. The fellow who is sitting next to you is having tuberculosis, which you do not know. Will you go and sit in a bus by asking what disease the other fellow has? Then only you will say no. The moment you get a seat, you sit. That fellow starts coughing. You wouldn't know, no. You wouldn't know that he has got this. Now, whenever he coughs, a lot of this bacteria will come out. Like uh, corona, you sneeze and then comes out. No? So you take that in while you breathe. Now, you are infected with tuberculosis, but it did not prognose into a disease because you had excellent immunological power so that you have come out of it. You understand now? Now here, in this case, uh, chlamydia or gonorrhea, they are all treated with antibiotics. But in case of uh, trapenema pallidum, you get something called syphilis. The medical board advises you not to get married for three years because you wouldn't know. Inside. And uh, by mistake, you get married, it gets through your uh, uh, the female's womb and then it will affect the fetus. The child will be born without eyes. Why get into problem? First of all, why get into uh, problems of STI? So you have to maintain celibacy until you get married. No? There is an ABCD technique. Abstinence. And then be faithful, A, B. C, correct and continuous use of condoms. And D, do not penetrate. These are the four A, B, C, D. If you don't follow, you may get STD. And some of the STD will make you sterile. So probably your friends would have taken you to the place. And you know, like you really wanted to explore what it is and got into trouble. And finally, could have, it will definitely take away your life because in their age, you wouldn't know. Once you grow, maturity falls, sets in. Then you, what's the point in repenting at that time? So the best thing is A, B, C, D. Abstinence, be faithful. If at all, these two are not possible, but use condom. And then you get an opportunity. Don't penetrate, but do whatever you want. Thereby, you don't uh, no, get this kind of disease, STI. Next question we will go. Uh, oh, yeah, I mean, I didn't completely say about these two. Let me say a few words. Women who have had chlamydia are at greater risk of an ectopic pregnancy because of a lasting effect of the infection. STI can increase the risk of ectopic pregnancy. There is a saying there. So we take that into consideration. And then women who have uh, an untreated STD, like chlamydia or even gonorrhea, are up to 23% more likely to develop pelvic inflammatory diseases following an abortion procedure. So we can choose all of these. If you ask me, it's a tough question for your standard. Coming to 17th question, during menstrual cycle, 
which hormone shows dual peak you understand the word dual peak uh you have to really uh, open the book ncrt book and look at that a menstrual cycle diagrammatic representation you will find estrogen one peak during first half and second peak during second half of menstrual cycle okay so that you call dual uh, peak so the option is b and if you it is uh, it's a very very common sense the moment you open the book see if i ask you straight you may not find it but once you open the book and see then you will your mind will register this so that next time when you get the same question you will answer right coming to the next 18th question another interesting question a woman is having an abnormal menstrual cycle due to improper regulation of the thyroid gland okay well let it be calculate the day of ovulation in such a female if her menstrual cycle duration is about 36 days now such sums when it comes what you should do is so cycle is 36th day normally 14th day is the ovulation period for a 28 day cycle what you do is from the 36 you detect this 14 you get 20 second that is the answer that's it nothing else no formula nothing for a 28 day cycle it's a 14th day is the ovulation if it is a 36th day cycle detect that 14 from that 36th day so 22nd day will be the ovulation another uh, uh, straight from the book which technique is shown by the diagram given below obviously you know it's a female uh, organ it is not vasectomy it is not cancer it is not ovarian cancer too it is tubectomy tummy tummy means something cutting tube fallopian tube ectomy fallopian tube ectomy so that means they are cutting and then uh, change direction and then ligate so this is called tubectomy very simple coming to the 20th question fertilization membrane in ovum prevents you know only one has to go no there will be hundreds fighting to go in so in order to avoid polyspermy only one has to go so fertilization membrane in ovum prevents polyspermy that's a simple answer and then another interesting scrotum in human males contains now scrotum scrotum is the the it's like a bag now the unique feature of scrotum is during summer it will be hanging during winter it will go up it will be very tight you will be wondering why it is so during summer the body would have taken atmospheric heat and this fellow has to be in a place where it is at least minus 2.5 uh, degree centigrade than the body temperature so it hangs it doesn't want that body heat there during uh, winter cold temperature that fellow requires temperature to maintain to be alive so it goes up that is why you know why people are uh, concerned young boys having very high fever if continuously fever is there hypothermia it may affect so you a person may become sterile so that is why a fever is not taken lightly okay scrotum in human male contains so what does it contain uh, that is important there is a question now what does it contain does it contain only the testis epidermis no testis vas afferens epidermis okay let's see what are the other options last option testis vas afferens epidermis a small part of vas deferens not possible now look at the c option testis yes vas afferens yes epidermis yes and a small part of vas deferens okay 
So test is vasa afferentia. Epididymis, a small part of vas deferens and ejaculatory duct. That's not possible. Ejaculatory duct is not there in the scrotum. So the right answer would be here. See. We'll take up the next question. 22nd. The clitoris or clitoris, whichever way you say is a tiny finger-like structure which lies at clitoris is uh, a female uh, it lies in the sex organ of the female it is a remnant of penis analogous to penis that means it can uh, erect and it has got about 700 to 800 nerve endings that is why women get two types of orgasms orgasms uh, through clitoris and orgasms through vagina in some of the uh, African countries, what they do is they cut the clitoris. Oh, they feel the women are randy. So if you remove clitoris, they will not be having uh, sexual uh, desire to have sex. But despite that, it is there because women, uh, they have vaginal uh, orgasm. So one is clitoral orgasm and vaginal orgasm. That is why women are more powerful in sex than men. So it is the answer is here the upper junction of the two labia minora above the urethral opening is the right answer. The rest of the answers are not very close to it. So uh, you can choose option A here. So we will take up the next question. Case 23rd question. A lady is 15 weeks pregnant. Okay, let her be. Various tests confirm that if her child was born, it would suffer from a serious illness leading to a serious handicap. What is the best suggested option to this case as per the Medical Termination of Pregnancy Amendment Act of 2017? Uh, quite interesting. See, during the second trimester, see, 15 weeks means second trimester, that is from 14th to 23rd weeks after last menstrual period. Abortions are typically performed over a two to three day period, but don't require an overnight stay in the hospital. These procedures are known as dilation and evacuation. Now I got to tell you something about what is DNC. Dilation and curatage. So you all must have seen uh, a coconut scraper, no? It will be like, uh, the end it will be uh, slightly turned. You scrape coconut out of it. Something like similar uh, instrument, they curate. You know what they do it, uh, they insert, in, I mean, very many procedures are there. Uh, some doctors, uh, you know, very the old, very experienced doctors who have then done more than 1000 abortions. There is a wood piece is there. They insert that. It will absorb all the water from the uh, vagina. And then uh, the composition is such, the cervix is dilated. You know, you have to insert the uh, instrument through the cervix into the uterus to scrape all the remnants there. So, you know, during that work, you should not puncture the uterus, then it's a serious condition. The patient may even die. Then you have to do a, I mean, a very, very a troublesome one. That is why uh, when you are in final year, you will be seeing a couple of this one, but you have got to be extremely careful while doing because the patient is at risk. It's called curatage, dilatation and curatage. Here, if it is about 15 weeks pregnant, where you enter in the second trimester, so there is a procedure. It is called as DNE, that is dilation and evacuation. By using certain instrument, they take it out. So MTP can be easily performed without any restrictions. Okay. MTP means medical termination of pregnancy. Coming to 24th question. Which of the following statements are correct regarding sterilization? It talks about sterilization. 
Number one, sterilization is a form of permanent contraception. Fantastic, good. Number two, sterilization inhibits gametogenesis. Number three, sterilization can be done both in males and females. Okay, tubectomy is a sterilization procedure done in males. That's a wrong. Now, let's analyze one and three seems to be right. But what is it say about sterilization inhibits gametogenesis? Sterilization prevents the fusion of male and female gametes to form a zygote. Whereas gamete formation is a natural phenomenon as it involves mitotic and meiotic cell division. So it is nothing to do with gametogenesis. So number two is also wrong. So you have one and three as the right answers. So let's go for one and three B option. Coming to very colored one. Identify the functions, characteristics of parts labeled as A, B, C, D, and E in the given diagram. Select the correct option after referring to given table, it says. So, uh, you know, all A, B, C, D are in the fallopian tube or under the ovary. A, B, C, D, E. So, you should know all the names associated here. Now, uh, what is see D talks about fimbriae, E talks about ovary. Now you have C, you have B, you have A. Now this is where you may get, let us analyze this, then you will know. Now, okay, let us take the A portion itself. A, part having a narrow lumen. Come back to the picture. Part having narrow lumen. B, part where zygote formation occurs. That means this is the place fertilization is going to occur. Part C, part closest to the ovary. Okay. Part D, part responsible for transportation of ovum. So, fimbria part. Part E, part responsible for production of ovum. So, it should have been given differently, but he says like that. So it's fine. So we'll go for option A here. The rest of the options are only jumbled. So it's not correct. Coming to 26th question. Which of the following cells are responsible for the secretion of the hormone that stimulates muscular growth, growth of facial and axillary hair, aggressiveness, low pitch of voice, etc. in males? Immediately, your mind will say testosterone, right? That is what it does. Testosterone. So, testosterone, cells which form the lining of seminiferous tubules, cells which provide nutrition to the growing, cells situated in the interstitial space of testes. What, is, what are there? Leydig cells are there. Leydig cells produce testosterone in the presence of luteinizing hormone. So, options. C is the right answer. Coming to 27th question. Which of the following parts of the sperm provides energy for its motility? The middle piece, you know very well that mitochondria is there. So it's a straight answer. You can very well answer that question. And 28. Choose the right one among the statements given below. Now, uh, what does this IUD do? Intrauterine devices. So, generally inserted by the user itself is not correct. IUDs increase phagocytosis reaction in the uterus. Yes. It does not suppress gametogenesis because it is independent. IUDs once inserted need not be replaced. Yes, it has to be replaced at some time. So, that means the right option is option B. We will go with that. Now, let us look at the 29th question. Which of the following processes is involved in the assisted reproductive technology known as gift? Now, what is mean? What do you mean by gift? It is gamete intra fallopian fallopian transfer. So, uh, means what? You are taking something and putting it in the or transferring it in the fallopian tube. 
so it uses multiple eggs collected from the ovaries the eggs are placed into a thin flexible tube which you call catheter along with the sperm to be used could be husbands or some donors the gametes that is both eggs and sperm are then injected into the fallopian tubes using a surgical procedure called laparoscopy so much is done in gift you can't be playing no you can't just like that ad is not you are not making chutney right so it's a big procedure involved so let's see what is an answer given here transfer of ovum collected from donor to the fallopian tube fine simple straight answer what i was explaining about uh, gift coming to 30th question now before we get into it i request you to kindly subscribe spiro academy and you can download it from the description column which is given down in case you require this pdf 30th question how many of the given statements are incorrect it says incorrect let us see 1 2 3 4 given now first one the cavity of the cervix is called cervical canal which along with vagina forms the birth canal now we have got to really analyze this question because you would not have expected such question usually birth canal means cervix vagina and vulva what are they cervix vagina and vulva vulva is outer portion that is how the baby comes out no first the head to comes out so you just simply cannot say cervix is called cervical canal which along with vagina forms the birth canal no all the three so first one only you know the ants is slightly given but not given fully the second one spermatogenesis starts at the age of puberty right answer third one uh, at puberty only 60000 to 80000 primary follicles are left in female body actually or left in each ovary should be there every ovary will each ovary will have 60 to 80000 primary follicles but it talks about 60 to 80 in the female body which is not correct and then fourth one in the early phase of pregnancy a hormone called relaxin is also secreted by the ovary that's a right answer yes relaxin secretes in the early phase of pregnancy during the first trimester so that means we have option c right answer coming to 31 question 31 question straight identify the set of hormone releasing iud earlier also we saw progestacert and lng sometimes people say long long 20 Uh, we saw the expansion some time back so uh, these are the two which are hormone releasing iud's intra uterine devices to recap long term contraception with levonorgestrel 20 mcg mcg means microgram per day that you call lng 20 i repeat long term contraception with levonorgestrel that's it now coming to 32nd question central drug research institute which has developed the world's first non steroidal oral contraceptive pill is located at we very happy see in the world we are the first to do it in lucknow so it is there in the book so it's a straight answer if you have read the book couple of times you will never make a mistake in this so i suggest that you read the book again and then leydig cells are located where it is located again it is beautifully given in the book itself a bit of anatomy you require to know so option c outside the seminiferous vestibules but in the te testicular lobules leydig cells are located and then 
34th question. 34th question, if you uh, which of the following statement is incorrect about OO genesis or WU genesis, whichever way you would like to pronounce. It says, which one is wrong? Now, uh, let's see, we have to know, like as I told you earlier, you've got to go through all the graphene follicle ruptures to release the secondary oocyte from the ovary by the process called ovulation. And then ovogenesis initiated during the embryonic development stage when a couple of million gamete mother cells are formed within each fetal ovary. And then the primary oocyte undergoes a second unequal meiotic division, resulting in the formation of a large haploid secondary oocyte and a tiny secondary polar body. And then finally, the secondary follicle transforms into a tertiary follicle, which is characterized by a fluid filled cavity called andrum. Now, the question here is incorrect. So that has been marked. Option C. Coming to 35th question. Infertility cases due to very low sperm counts in the ejaculates could be corrected by artificial insemination. Now this artificial insemination has got very many types. Usually what they do, normally do is, very first thing, they try to do or explore all options. They will not miss out. They take the husband's sperm into a syringe-like thing, deeply insert into the female vagina, and just in front, you know, there is one uh, instrument is there. If you put, you can pull the cervix, and then you pull the cervix and inject that sperm directly into this cervical canal, so that you don't allow the sperm to travel. All those things you avoid. You you give a shortcut method. Straight away, like ministers, when they come, they don't you come the usual route. No? They take the shortcut method to reach anywhere. Something like that. They uh, send the sperms inside so that we will they will see if it uh, really happens. Well, otherwise they'll go for other methods. Thirty sixth question. Now here, different types of assisted reproductive techniques are given below. ZIFT, IUT, ICSI, GIFT, AI. Now before we get into it, uh, are you sure? Are you all very thorough with these uh, terms? ZIFT. ZIFT is Zygote Intrafallopian Transfer. IUT means Intrauterine Transfer. ICSI means Intracytoplasmic sperm injection. Gift means, we saw earlier, gamete intrafallopian transfer. AI means artificial insemination. IUI, there is one more, intrauterine insemination. So you have got to definitely know these expansions correctly. Then it will be easy for you to know, like make it. Select the correct type of fertilization in the above techniques, I say. Now, different types of assisted reproductive techniques are given below. Now, in that, it talks about vitro. Vitro means outside. A, B, and C in vitro. What is A? Zift, IUT, ICSI. They are all done outside. Vivo, gift, artificial insemination. So option B is the right option. Now coming to 37th question. Straight answer, surgical removal or cutting and ligation of ends of ovidect is known as tubectomy. We already saw somewhere with the pictorial representation. If it is asked this way also, you can straight away answer. It's a very simple question. 38. As I already told you, whenever you get, match the following. Go for 
the answer that you know thoroughly and then keep those two and then browse the answers you will not miss you will correctly make it for example colostrum you all know colostrum is the first milk secreted by the mother it will be light yellow in color uh, it will it will contain a lot of immunological properties and uh, seema pal abdinuanga tamil seema pal you know seem pal they even call seem pal what our people do is they take the seem pal and put pal goa and eat it they make pal goa out of it it contains lot of immunological properties for the cough same case uh, human also they secrete so it, it mean anywhere else will get secreted no only in mammary gland so if it is colostrum e e must be four now let us analyze where is four e must be four with one answer you can straight away put d you don't even have to see see e has to be if another answer is also e4 then there is a possibility that these two have to compete and check other things now uh, in the examination you have to be bit you know uh, smart enough see colostrum what is the connection between sperm activation and colostrum nothing progesterone plus nothing morphogenic nothing acrosomal nothing so colostrum means mammary gland right and if you are very sure of that e and 4 where is e4 e3 nothing wrong e1 must be wrong e5 is of e4 yes only one option straight away go for this now check for all a is equal to 1 hyaluronidase acrosomal reaction and then corpus luteum corpus luteum uh, from there progesterone is secreted so b must be 3 so b must be 3 everything will fall in place and then see gastrulation what is gastrulation c must be 2 morphogenetic movements capacitation where does it happen capacitation d is 5 sperm activation next question 39th question formation of corpus luteum is influenced by now here uh many students you know like after reading very many times they come and tell me sir i always get confused between fsh and h you know it is better you separately write fsh and put all whatever you know from the book or outside also you can take notes there are certain things will never change only because you keep on hearing sh fsh lh and all you get confused lh surge causes ovulation you know in the menstrual cycle we have seen and rapidly initiate a program of terminal differentiation of the ovulated follicle into the corpus luteum through a process termed luteinization so formation of corpus luteum is influenced by lh so that is why it is called luteal phase first one is called proliferative phase proliferation means development what development follicles which is induced by follicular stimulating hormone fsh after that is luteal phase corpus luteum then by lh that's it so next question 40th in human female the fertilized eggs gets implanted in uterus uterus normally uh, the answer given is for two months one month three weeks suppose a woman has sex or some during ovul sub she doesn't know whether she's having sex during ovul because she got the opportunity so she had the sex how does she know whether she became pregnant between 4th and 7 days she may experience a small bleeding that is a time it is implanted in the uterus normally it takes between 4 and 7 days 
you can't be saying no like i had sex and after two months it became pregnant perfect no 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 only during that time the sperm has to be there when the ovum has to be there that is why even if the husband is normal wife is normal despite having so many copulation they never uh, get pregnant everything is normal but they don't get pregnant because it doesn't go inside so it is not in your hand you can't be saying uh, i can produce a child no it's not in your hand you can never do that so it's a chance so answer uh, look at 4 to 7 days so answer is d so we can straight away go for it the science behind it we discussed just now question 41 these are all straight away straight question which day in normal human menstrual cycle does lh search normally occur is 14th day during lh search only the ovulation happens and then 42nd question i think we just discussed some time back you know the scrotum helps in maintaining the low temperature of the testes that is 2 to 2.5 degree centigrade temperature lower than the body to facilitate spermatogenesis more than just this one will affect less than also will affect so the, from the body temperature it has to be lower 2 to 2.5 degree centigrade lower and then 43rd question another interesting one which of the following is wrongly matched now look at the gift we have already seen uh, the definition of gift transfer of embryos with more than eight blastomeres into the fallopian tube gift is not that strongly matched so straight away you go for that answer 44th question in which in vitro technique so you have to read like that in vitro that is outside sperm is directly injected into the ovum to form an embryo we had a definition of ics i remember intra cytoplasmic sperm injection we saw that right so sperm is directly injected into the ovum to form an embryo nothing else i see si option b straight away go for it in which of the assisted reproductive technology the embryo is formed in vivo fertilization so here assisted reproductive technology the embryo is formed by in vivo fertilization that's what we saw in gift so straight away gift these are all straight answers i mean you not you need not even get confused with all this another interesting question the cavity present in the graphene follicle is called antrum it is there in the book so you can you will not miss this coming to 47th question the action of the vaginal diaphragm look at the word diaphragm now look at the option it is not spermicidal spermicidal means one which kills sperms and it is not anti implantational it doesn't do that implantation now occurs on a different situation option a to prevent the ova to come into the uterus it doesn't do that because you are inserting something a kind of a diaphragm thing inside the vagina will it do all this it doesn't know to prevent the sperm to come in contact with ova that's all it will do that is why you wear that 48 in which contraceptive method the semen will be without sperms see suppose you uh, somebody does vasectomy after vasectomy the penis will erect he can have sex the semen will come but in that semen sperms will not be there actually it is something like this sperms does the real job semen is a vehicle which is secreted by uh, this bulbo urethral glands prostate gland other secretions it's like a vehicle it will carry it will be uh, you know non acidic alkaline it will be that is why before the sperm come out come out the path is uh, lubricated 
with because you would have passed urine so urine is acidic so that path would be lubricated through the bulbo urethral gland secretions that is a transparent white secretion then it is easy for the sperm to come it can easily travel right in vasectomy the sperm cannot move it gets reabsorbed reabsorbed whereas erection will be there you will eject sperm no me sorry you will eject uh, semen not sperms so you can answer vasectomy 49th question in humans placenta is derived from um let me explain a bit here definitely not from amnion or allantois or yolk sac it is chorion only human placenta is composed of both maternal tissue and tissue derived from the embryo it is largely formed by chorion chorion is the embryonic derived portion of the placenta and it contains blood vessels formed by allantois and tropoblasts which are organized into chorionic villi so it is derived from chorion it is given in the book you got to read it very carefully then you can answer this question coming to 50th question which one of the following is the correct match of events occurring during the menstrual cycle before we get into it if you like this video uh, kindly patronize this and uh, and you need this pdf you can get it down browse this okay now 50th question which one of the following is the correct match of events occurring during the menstrual cycle now breakdown of myometrium wrong statement and ovum menstruation right proliferative phase rapid degenerate regeneration of myometrium again wrong statement and what is the correct statement? development of corpus luteum secretory phase and increased secretion of progesterone now if you really analyze the question again correct match events during menstrual cycle so corpus luteum which happens during the secretory phase and increases secretion of progesterone now you will be wondering why progesterone should be increased it doesn't know the person is going to have sex right if the girl has sex there is every possibility fertilization may occur and if fertilization occurs she should not menstruate later right if she menstruate everything is called abortion no so progesterone will inhibit menstruation that is why progesterone is secreted if the girl doesn't have sex then it will go in menstrual along with the other fluids and blood it is called as weeping of uterus the weep i mean the uterus is crying weeping oh i didn't get sperm this time so it uh, weeps next time again we will see okay aayega aayega next time it may come so it will wait so every month it will wait every month if it doesn't get it weeps and that you call menstruation weeping of uterus coming to 50 51 question question number 51 so to remind you kindly subscribe uh, spiro academy and in case you like this pdf you can download the following is the illustration of the sequence of ovarian events a to i in a human female so a b c d e f and i identify the developing follicle mature follicles and corpus luteum very very simple answer you see a to d developing follicle a to d is not mature follicle a to d is developing from you know follicle stimulating hormone it is not one many will form many will form only one will be chosen so for your understanding it is given one 
so this one is getting matured right the home is there then it is ejected home is ejected and then then it becomes corpus luteum if the woman you know that it uh, it degenerates after that all those things are degenerates so a to d is developing follicle e to f is mature follicle and e to i is corpus luteum in the corpus luteum only it's a temporary endocrine gland it secretes progesterone estrogen and all emergency contraceptives are effective if used within definitely not 72 hours of menstruation why you require a contraceptive only if you have sex you require a contraceptive otherwise you will get caught you see you know married uh, men many people will have extramarital affair not all if you wife may not be become pregnant but his lover will become pregnant it becomes a, a risky thing for him so that is why uh, you know after coitus coitus is nothing but fornication nothing but sexual um, intercourse so emergency contraceptive is uh, after population within 72 hours if you take yes possibilities there possibilities not certain 53rd now 53rd question which of the following statement is correct regarding fetal development in humans fetal development you know which one will be the right answer if you browse through and see you see the what is the question we read it again which of the following statement is correct due regarding fetal which is correct it is asking for correct now go through all the look at here the first movements of the fetus and appearance of hair on the head is usually observed during the fifth month it's given in the book also actually it is between 16 and 20 weeks if you join medical college they will not talk about month they talk only on weeks because traditionally they have been saying that way pregnancy is 40 weeks duration 40 weeks means around 280 days but normally we say 10 months you see 300 days doesn't have 40 weeks 280 days so the answer is c here and then let's take up oo genesis in oo genesis or oo genesis you have initially multiplication phase it multiplies and then it takes into growth phase and then maturation phase now uh, you got to really understand what happens during these phases if you can understand that it would be very very easy for you to you know like uh, uh, make your mind towards it because i will talk about who genesis in case uh, many of you have got doubt it is called as discontinuous process because before birth and after birth when the mother is pregnant and the baby inside the fetus let us assume the fetus is female fetus female baby during the first month of gestation there would be around 1700 primary follicles these primary follicles will start dividing during the second month of embryonic life there would be 6 lakhs of it i am talking about 600000 during fifth month of embryonic life the baby will have 7 million 7 million means 70 lakhs primary follicles then they undergo atresia atresia means shrinking of follicles so at birth its ovary will have 2 million primary follicles 
and from that till the baby that is the child is growing till it achieves puberty the atresia continues and the girl will have 60000 to 80000 primary follicle per ovary now you see that is why it is called as discontinuous process it started with 1700 it became up to 7 million 70 lakhs then shrinking of follicle that the atresia started and then when the baby is born it was with 2 million primary follicles and the baby grows to a, a beautiful young lady of 16 13 14 uh, at the time she menstruates till puberty it becomes 60000 to 80000 primary follicles per ovary out of every 500 primary follicle only one will grow into an egg you see nature gives in abundance i repeat this sentence out of every 500 primary follicle only one will grow into an egg so oogenesis is completed in three phases the one is first one is called multiplication multiplication phase mitotic division takes place mitotic mitotically multiplication phase then growth phase here by yolk accumulation what do you mean by yolk accumulation you see in a human being you have 200 times the yolk formation whereas in the hen also 200 times whereas in frog eggs it is 2000 times drosophila egg it is 90000 times because it is not taken care of the mother whereas in human the placenta will help for the growth of the fetus so that you call by yolk accumulation and you call it as growth phase because due to uh, vitellogenesis the vitellin the, the the protein part and then the third one is called maturation phase that is due to meiotic division so what will happen the primary follicle during multiplication phase mitotic division you will have oogonia of 2n in origin that is diploid cell then that one will be enlarged only enlargement has taken place the 2n will become bigger in size again still it is called primary oocyte which is deployed in nature by taking meiosis 1 it divided into first polar body which is haploid and another one you call that as secondary oocyte which is haploid so oogenesis is arrested in diploidin stage of prophase 1 of meiotic division 1 now why it happened that is why uh, it, it gets it is called discontinuous process it gets arrested here now this uh, again the cytoplasm pro uh, problem comes which one to grow that is why the polar body is taken it is actually giving you know like uh, it is leaving and say at least you grow let me go and disintegrate so if both take 50 50% then there is no possibility so one will actually gives off that is why one grows and into a secondary oocyte now meiosis 2 has to happen if it happens because it is triggered by the entry of sperm only if it is not there that will go off if it is triggered by the entry of sperm then my meiosis 2 will happen ootid ovum egg is released and fertilized where you get the second polar body so entry of sperm decides the formation of egg so that is how the oogenesis goes bit lengthy but it is worth it so uh, you have all the three stages here so that why we say oogenesis comprises of multiplication growth and maturation phase let's take up the next one 55 55 question if you like this video kindly subscribe spyro academy
And if you want this PDF, please go down and you will get it there. In male cockroaches, sperms are stored in which part of the reproductive system? Seminal vesicles is the right answer. Uh, there is much to, nothing to discuss because it is stored there. So take it that way straight away. Okay. Now I will take up the next one. What this is. PCT and DCT are parts of. <laughs> it's a. It's a baby question. <clears throat> Nephron. Fifty-seven. Fertilization in human takes place in the womb. Okay. Zygote contains haploid number of chromosomes. Okay. Fertilization membrane avoids polyspermy. Fine. Primary oocyte inhibits the process of oogenesis. Now, from the answers A, B, C, D, it's very, very clear. Fertilization will never take place in the womb. Right. Likewise, if you really see, the C option is the most correct. Fertilization membrane avoids polyspermy. Because only one sperm has to get in. So straight away go for C answers here. Yeah. And then 58 the question. The term test tube baby implies. You know very well, test tube baby in vitro and then in vivo. So fertilization takes place in the test tube, but it develops in the uterus. So first is vitro and then vivo. So C option is the right option. Now, menstruation cycle occurs in eutherian animals, metatherian animals, all mammals. The right answer would be in all primates. So it's a very rare question. It will not come like that in the examination. But know the answer. It happens in all the primates. 60th question. Again, diaphragms or contraceptive devices used by females. Choose the correct option from the statements given below. They are introduced into the uterus. No. They are placed to cover the cervical region. They are an example of physical barriers. They act as spermicidal agents. No, they will not act as spermicidal agents. They are not introduced in the uterus. So the right answer would be second and two and three. So that's the right answer. Now we will take up the next question. It says, the method of sterilization is lipus loop, IUD, implants, tubectomy. I have already explained to you. Ectomy, tube ectomy, cutting of tube. This is called ectomy. Tonsillectomy, cutting of tonsil muscles from the throat region. Tubectomy, cutting of the tube. So, method of sterilization. So tube at them. 62. Which of the following is not a part of the female external genitalia? See, mons pubis is the external appearance of the female sex organ. It will be very, very fleshy and uh, hair growth will be there. That's why it's called pubic hair. So that is one right. Labia majora is the first lip. It is actually analogous to scrotum of uh, male. Clitoris, analogous to penis, but it is a small size. Whereas cervix is inside. After crossing the uh, vagina only, you will reach cervix portion. So it is not the external genitalia. So answer is cervix. According to the 2011 census, the population growth rate in India was less than 2%. It's a straight answer. It's given in the book also. 64th question. 
which of the following contraceptive devices is having a common mechanism of action you know this multi load 375 and copper t the copper t is a very interesting thing so the copper why not silver why not gold why not something else copper has got the tendency to you know uh, incapacitate the sperms and condoms will not do but condoms uh, loaded with some uh, anti sperm uh, fluid in some of the condoms it is coming it is not certain possibilities now uh, common mechanism of action is cu2 and multi load 375 so you can go for it now here select the incorrect match now uh, in the previous one you know you will get uh, why this multi load 375 and cut because we spoke about common mechanism so let me slightly highlight about this so that more like in future if the same question comes or elsewhere you will have a better idea iud uh, you know it mainly work with uh, work by changing the intra uterine environment so there is an environment in the uterine section it will change that environment and making it spermicidal you know when the fellow uh, having sex the sperms will be ejected so the sperms if it is alive and uh, she is uh, ovulating and she will become pregnant so in order to avoid that so these iud's it will make the environment hostile to sperms so copper containing iud in addition release free copper and copper salts that have both a biochemical and morphological impact on the endometrium and also produce alteration in cervical mucus and endometrial secretions so by doing so your body will not have more copper no measurable increase in serum copper is observed even the progesterone iud you know does not increase the serum progesterone level and mainly acts by inhibition and implantation and sperm capacitation and survival of you know inhibition means tadukkaradu inhibition means to stop it may stop implantation it may stop sperm capacitation and survival thereby uh, the common mechanism of action of these two come in picture so the main thing is environment in the uterine section now uh, you know very well saheli it is a weekly once tablet what is given here oral contraceptive for females containing non steroidal preparation it's a once a month pill is wrong is weekly the rest of the things are wrong so male and female condoms condoms are barriers made up of thin rubber latex sheath these are applied just before coitus i mean it talks about wrong statement right this is wrong statement this is a right statement you know uh, you i don't know how many of you have seen a female condom one side it will be a bigger hole and the end it will be tapered you can see in the book the tapered end is inserted into the vagina the outer one the the bigger uh, uh, orifice no it's kept outside the vagina uh, the male has to insert the penis into that rubber stuff not uh, moving the rubber stuff he has to place it and then insert it and the, in the inside of it will be lubricated for the penis to enter easily and after the copulation he will eject everything into the uh you know on the tube uh, covered by this rubber thereby the sperm will not even go in and uh, the problem is suppose this fellow has got an std he deposits sperm say gonorrhea and she happens to be a commercial sex worker another fellow comes and she doesn't uh, no change the condom that fellow comes and does sex let us assume that fellow has got uh, 
uh, syphilis. So this fellow, syphilis will always have syphilis. You will also take in gonorrhea. The female will not be affected because she is having that barrier. So there is a problem there. Now take the third one, lactational amenorrhea. During, uh, after the childbirth, the mother gives milk, right? For about six months, she won't menstruate. At that time, even if you have sex with her, she won't conceive. It is called amenorrhea. Menorrhea means passing off in uh, menstruation. Amenorrhea means no menstruation. So that you call lactation and it is a natural thing which happens. It is based on the fact that ovulation and therefore the cycle do not occur during the period of intense lactation following parturition. You know the meaning of parturition. After the child is born. Then MTPs, medical termination of pregnancy. These are considered relatively safe during the first trimester. Of course, yes. Up to 12 weeks of pregnancy. Second week and all I mean the method will differ. After that and all it's quite difficult. You have to cut open and remove it. Now let's come to the 66th question. PQR and S are representing the hormone titers in the menstrual cycle starting from day one. Never get confused with your uh, ECG here. Nothing to do with ECG. Yes, just to find it as PQRST to confuse you. Now, uh, recall the menstruation diagram. What is P? What is Q? What is R? What is S? You know, here P represents follicle stimulating hormone. Q represents luteinizing hormone, which is a spurt. Spurt means increase during ovulation. R indicates estrogen and S indicates progesterone. Now with that knowledge, if you straight away go, which hormone is responsible for ovulation? You know which one is ovulation? LH. So Q. Coming to 67th question. The main factor in increasing the population is lower mortality. Automatically the population will not come down. Higher natality. So, obviously, op uh, see, early marriage and all will not increase population. Early marriage will be there. But the fellow is important or the girl is uh, cannot uh, conceive. So, there won't be any uh, children, no? So, that you cannot say. More reproductive capacity. A fellow may have more reproductive capacity, but you know how long he can he operate with only one. Can he go and uh, stand in a, I mean, make all girls come and stand in queue? I will copulate. I mean, not possible. No, that is not possible. Reproductive. A fellow men have the mean. This is not the right answer. And then D, suitable and favorable. I mean, these are all very ambiguous statements. So, something very close to that is higher natality and lower mortality. Coming to 68th question. Which one of the following statements about human sperm is correct? So, acrosomal has a conical point structure used for piercing and penetrating the egg, resulting in fertilization. It can do so, but will it result in fertilization? No. Acrosome serves as a sensory structure leading the sperm towards the ovum. There is no sensory structure. Acrosome serves no particular function. That's not so. The sperm lysins in the acrosome dissolve the egg envelope, facilitating fertilization. Well, there will be hundreds of uh, uh, sperms uh, circulating or ready to penetrate. So whichever is giving this lysine very well, so that once it goes in, it will, you know, to arrest polyspermy, there will be a zygote formation, so nothing can enter. So coming to 69th question, the testes in humans are situated outside the abdominal cavity, inside a pouch called scrotum. The purpose served here served is for maintaining cross scrotal temperature lower than the internal body temperature is the right answer. Now look at the other option, escaping any possible compression by the visceral organs. We don't care, no? Providing more space for the growth of epididymis. No? Providing secondary sexual features for exhibiting male sex. Is it so? Definitely not. So it's only for that. That is why during summer, 
the scrotal sac hangs down during winter it goes up family planning program was initiated after immediately after independence they did so in 19 Select the hormone whose level, if drops, will result in immediate menstruation. As I told you earlier, progesterone is responsible for stopping menstruation. You know, a pregnant woman will have enormous quantity of progesterone in her system because the lady should not menstruate, and if it menstruates, becomes a, a threatened abortion. Second month, third month possibilities are there. So, in order to avoid that, the body secretes plenty of progesterone so that menstruation is inhibited. During menstrual cycle, when this one comes down, immediately estrogen takes up, so you have immediate menstruation. So, answer is progesterone. Coming to seventy-second question: Which of the following is the correct description of the mechanism of action of combined pill? so these inhibit ovulation and implantation as well as alter the quality of cervical mucus to prevent the entry of sperms yeah these are all things does you know the cervical mucus if it becomes highly viscous the fellow cannot move cannot uh, swim and go that is one possibility even if it enters it will die because it is highly viscous and then um, they inhibit ovulation and implantation as well as alter you know the problem with these things see things are immediately after marriage you know people will try to postpone thinking that they can uh, enjoy life and after 3 4 years they can have children they may enjoy life no doubt about it after that the children may not be given to them by nature or by god or something you won't know then only you will understand it is not in your hands because it is a chance it may not uh, happen there are many couples who come for counseling so this is what they would have done they would have disturbed their hormonal system in the body that is a majority that's the most important thing and you you just like that you stop it and then it's not like taking coffee and then okay okay i don't like it and go to another place no no you are disturbing your hormonal secretions of your body so you cannot take chances is it all only to you now give you there are there is a market for all this that is why there is a manufacturer for all this there is nobody is eating suppose uh, suppose in your uh, near your house somebody is selling a uh, snake for you to eat and you don't eat snake what will happen the fellow will have snake nobody will buy right <coughs> so there is there is a market no demand so it cannot sell the all these things come into force only there is a demand all these things are available question number 73 the hormone released during post ovulatory phase helps options are given actually why post ovulatory phase is to maintenance of pregnancy helps in maintenance of pregnancy in case the woman gets sperms and fertilization takes place so it has to be maintained that is why so we will take the next question in case you like this video kindly subscribe spiro academy now if you want a pdf you want this pdf please go down and take it from the description if a female has a rudimentary ovary ovary but can provide a suitable environment for the growth of the fetus the art technique can be used is that can be used is now you talk about rudimentary ovary but suitable environment i think a similar question we saw earlier gift is the right answer 
I need not again tell you because I have already explained it to you. 75th question, amnion helps in. Amnion, what does it do? Look at all this. Protection of the fetus from mechanical shock. Amniotic fluid. The baby develops only in that. It is to prevent shock. 76th question. Another interesting question because receptors for FSH is there in the sertoli cells. So which cells are stimulated by FSH in males? Sertoli cells. Because Sertoli cells has got the receptors for FSH. So this FSH will come and sit on that and it will make it to produce whatever. 77th question. Now it is an straight away from the NCRT book. Because he has not taken any risk. The question the setter he has straight away taken from NCRT book and given you. Now here, uh, more than understanding, you should have read that couple of times. If you have not read that couple of times, it would be very difficult for you to answer this question. So I would rather suggest you, uh, there is a diagrammatic sectional view of mammary gland in the book. Go through that. Same, ditto. Only instead of memory lobes, he has not included that. That's all. A functional memory gland is characteristic of all female mammals. The glandular tissue of each breast is divided into 15 to 20 memory lobes containing clusters of cells called alveoli. The cells of alveoli secrete milk which is stored in the cavities or lumens of alveoli. The alveoli open into mammary tubules. The tubules of each lobe join to form a mammary duct. Several mammary ducts join to form a wider mammary ampulla, which is connected to the lactiferous duct through which milk is sucked out. So I request you to read the book a couple of times so that you can straight away take this answer. That is the right answer. Coming to 78th question. Which of the following contraceptive method cannot be practically used? You know, you can't be telling uh, for which the mother has to keep on giving milk. No, that's not possible. See, you cannot practically use it. Sometimes this may also fail. During amenorrhea, that too, due to this lactation amenorrhea, the woman uh, may not menstruate. So there is no ovulation, thereby she will not have uh, chances of fertilization. That is the right answer. So here, practically, no, cannot be practically used is lactation amenorrhea. Then 79th question. In which of the following methods of ART, fertilization will be in Vivo inside AI technique, artificial insemination technique. So you inseminate inside so that in vivo, it is not withdraw outside, it is vivo. Then we will see up to 80 questions today. The rest, we have another 83 questions another day. Select the option with correct identification of the given contraceptive measure and the hormone essentially present in it. Now, uh, this is called implants. It's called subcutaneous implant. Where subcutaneous you can put it? You know, normally it is put at the back of the uh, hand. You know, the, you know, there is biceps muscle. At the back of it, there is a subcutaneous place where you can put there. Suppose you put on the stomach. You know, that is where when you have sex, that part will be disturbed. So that is why they have used in this part, you don't do anything during sex, right? So subcutaneous implant, progesterone or progesterone estrogen combination is kept in the form of needle. It is actually a procedure which goes inside the body, subcutaneous. 
slightly painful, but it will be there for two years to three years. Okay, with this, uh, we will close the session. Thank you very much, students. In case you like this video, kindly subscribe uh, Spyro Academy. And all the very best. We will see you again. Thank you.